What's up and welcome back Odoers. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the onboarding feature in the employees app. When we hire new employees, we want to make sure they have all the information and tools that they need to succeed. That means we need an organized plan of what to do, including touring the facility, signing documents, meeting the managers, assigning them equipment, and a lot more. Here at Stealthy Wood, we offer general onboarding for all employees and department-specific onboarding to ensure everybody starts off on the right foot. So let's dive right in. I have a few plans already configured in my database. To check these out, all we have to do is select configuration at the top and then select activity plan. Here we have a list of all my various plans. As you can see, I have a general onboarding plan, which everybody goes through. Plus I have my department specific onboarding plans as well. And these are tailored to those specific departments. I can tell which department these plans apply to by looking at the department column here in the middle. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our general onboarding plan. Here we can see the plan name at the top, what kind of model this is, which is typically set to employee, as well as the department. Since this field is blank, this is a general onboarding plan that applies to all employees in every department. Below that we have the activities to create tab, which shows me all the activities that will be scheduled when this onboarding plan is launched. If we look at each line, we can see what type of activity this is, a short summary of what this activity type is as well, how this activity is assigned, who slash if this activity is assigned to anybody, and then when this is scheduled for. I need to add an activity that we just implemented. It requires all employees to sign a non-disclosure agreement or NDA. To add this, all I have to do is click add a line. And when I do this, create activities pop-up form appears. Here in the activity type field, I'm just going to select request signature since the employee needs to sign the NDA. And from here, we have a document to sign drop-down field and where I'll be able to select our non-disclosure agreement. The employee role field defines what fields they are signing on this document. So I'm just going to select employee. Just note that in signing a document in Odoo, you need to have the sign app installed. Check out our tutorial on Odoo sign in the description below. Now in the summary field directly below, we can enter a short description. We could do sign NDA. And the assignment field directly below determines who is responsible for completing this activity. Ask at launch lets me decide later who should do this task. We also have default user, which lets me assign this specific person to the task. We also have coach or manager, which allows us to assign this task to the employees, coach or manager. We have the employee themselves. And then we have fleet manager, which is, you guessed it, the fleet manager. Now I'm going to put this back to default user because we want to have our HR manager, Abigail, manage this specific task. So we can select Abigail from the drop down menu here. Then we have these two interval fields. The first field determines the length of time this activity is due. And then the second one we have days, weeks, or months that we can determine which the first field is reflective of. And then on the last third field here, we have the before plan date or after plan date which lets us decide if we want to schedule the activity before the onboarding plan starts or after the onboarding plan starts. Now I want this form signed off within three days of onboarding. So I'm going to leave this to after the plan date and we're going to change this first field here to three. I can also add comments or more information in the notes field here directly below, but I don't need that for now. So I'm just going to click save and close. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at our specialty onboarding activities. Just to give you an idea how things work around here, we can click on the employee plans breadcrumbs button. That'll take us back to our employee plans list here. And this time we're just going to select our onboarding carpentry. You can see this plan contains safety training, assigned tools and upload safety training certificate. These wouldn't be applicable to an accountant or sales manager. So that's why we made the special onboarding plan for employees in the carpentry department. It's important to note that if an employee is part-time or second to one of the other departments, they can't be assigned to this plan. The specific child department must be selected. Now let's see how this all works. We just hired a new carpenter, Roger Scott, and we need to onboard him first. 
So we'll go to our employees dashboard by clicking on employees, then employees once again. And then here we can open our search bar, drop down menu, and filter this to show only our newly hired employees. This filter knows the newly hired employees because they have a start date within the last 90 days. Okay, our new carpenter, Roger Scott, needs to be onboarded, so let's click his card here on the right. And then we can just click on the launch plan button. And once we do, the launch plan pop-up window appears. The default onboarding general plan is present since it's not specific to his department. And here, let's go ahead and change the plan date to next Wednesday. And remember, the ask at launch option when assigning tasks in the activity plan configuration area. The assign to field is how we select who is going to be assigned to all the tasks. And since we're asking this to ask who we're assigning this to at the time of launch, we can go ahead and choose who we're assigning this assignment to here in the assign to field, which we'll choose for Abigail. The right side shows us all the due dates for all the activities that will be created and assigned, which is based on the configured interval section for each task. These are organized by who the activity is assigned to. We can see our IT department has to set up Scott's computer and anything else he needs the day before that and on the right. The NDA is also shown here, which shows that it is due three days from his start date. Now, when I click schedule, all the activities appear in the chatter. And sometimes this can take a few seconds since Odoo needs time to create all these activities at once. Then once it's all complete, all the information for each task appears here as well. Now remember, I also need to launch his special Carpenter onboarding plan. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll just scroll back to, up to the top and click launch plan once again. But this time in the plan, we're going to select his carpentry onboarding plan. Note that we can only see the activity plans related to his department. I'll then set the plan date to the second day of his job, which will be next Thursday. Then I'll click schedule once everything looks good and the new activities are then listed on the chatter. Perfect. And that does it for this tutorial. You just learned how to configure activity plans to help our onboarding process, including how to set specific plans for departments and how to auto-assign these activities to the right people. See you in the next tutorial and happy onboarding.